let's go faster. Yo, what's up everybody, it's Carl, aka Carl Drum Tech for Drumline Chops, and today let's talk about why you might be having trouble playing diddles and rolls at faster speeds. Okay, so when I first teach students how to play double strokes, I'll teach it to them like this. I'll get a nice upstroke on both notes. You're using wrist, initiating from the wrist, right? Getting this nice height like this, right? And I might teach them like an exercise like that. The same thing on the left. Great, okay, now, when we go faster, we can't really... We can't really keep doing that, okay? Uh, it's very difficult to try to stroke out every single note at those speeds. I can try, but there's gonna be a limit to how fast I can go. The other thing is, right, so in the beginning, okay, when you first learn a double stroke, you have this nice wrist motion like this. But when you go fast, right, what's happening? We have two motions at that speed. For you to be able to go faster, what's the answer? Have less motion, <laughs> okay? And you have less motion by just doing this. Right, one motion to get two notes, and that's the goal. At these faster speeds, we wanna to try to get two strokes for one stroke, right? You literally get two hits and you only do one stroke. Think of it as you're lifting more from where you're holding the stick. So lifting more from here, or initiating the stroke from here. So now the stick moves more like this. Okay, in the beginning, it moved more like what? Like this. Okay, so the, the stroke initiates from the tip, so it moves like this, okay? But when it's faster, when you go at faster tempos, you need to start more from here. Lift from here. So the stick moves more like this. And how is that made possible? Well, you can already see it, right? I'm breaking the elbow, so I'm using arm to make that happen. So there's a lot of schools of thought out there. I know there's a lot of proponents of using wrist all the time and not using any arm. I'm not saying it's wrong, okay? I'm just saying that, you know, from everything that I've learned and just, just by this logic, this is two motions. Right, versus just doing one. It's easier to me, okay? Now, somebody can explain that to me, like, you know, like, oh, why this is okay, all right, or why that's better, you know, please let me know, all right? But this is just how I've learned it, this is my interpretation, uh, in terms of like, you know, practicality, I think this is the most practical, okay? Could be wrong, There's, there, there could be something, you know, out there where it's like you do more wrists and it's practical for them, great, I'm not saying it's wrong. So, use more arm, have the stick more like this, so when you do a roll, don't do the wrist thing. So I'll do my best to do a faster roll, um, you know, using wrists and moving the stick like this. Okay, that, that's the best I could. Okay, maybe not, not stroke it out as much. Okay, well now let's do arm motion, right? Having one motion, getting two strokes for one. Okay, it's a little bit smoother. Also, if you're playing any type of diddle rudiment, so let's say you're doing some tap rags. Let's go faster. You notice I'm doing those diddles the same way. I'm moving it more like this. Rather than... Does that make sense, right? So it really depends on the tempo, right? So if you're going slow, fine. That's fine, right? So you stroke out those notes, right? You use the wrist, that's fine. But faster. See how I'm engaging my arm a lot more, okay? That's for all diddles, which means that also includes, like, let's say if you need to do cheeses. So when I see students trying to play some cheeses and they try to play faster tempos, they're like, why can't I play it this fast? Well, most of the times because they're doing it like this. Fine, if it's slow, check it done. No problem. Initiate from here, right? Use the wrist, that's fine. But when you go faster, it's a lot easier. Rely on that arm, make the stick move more like this. Okay, if you start to do that, you'll find that you'll have a lot easier time uh, doing those cheeses at the faster tempos. So does that make sense? Does that help at all? So if you're stuck, like, you know, tap rags, cheeses, and then you have a, you know, ceiling, you have a barrier that you can't break, okay? A speed barrier that you can't break. Try to look at how you're doing it, right? So if you're doing it the way you learned it when you first learned how to play diddles, at faster tempos, those techniques that you learn do not apply as much. Yes, we can still use a little bit of wrist at the faster tempos, but start to use more arm at those faster tempos. Think like, how can I get the stick to move more like this? 
because it's more efficient at those faster tempos rather than having two motions. This, and then you end up here, right? Versus, and it's just, the stick stays the same. Like, it's just like this. Okay, sure, it does kind of move more, like, a little bit like this. For the most part, right, it really moves more like this, okay? All right, so cool. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you feel like this uh, video was helpful to you, please leave a comment down below. Uh, leave us a like down below as well. And uh, please do share this video with other friends uh, who are you know, having trouble with cheeses and fast diddle rudiments and things like that. Thank you again. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video and you should totally watch more videos, uh, old videos from Drumline Chops over here and then subscribe over here. All right, see you guys later. Peace.